Okay, now we're on the inside. You're gonna find located right inside the door here, slide out room switch. You have in, and you have out. This is a Swintech system, it's gonna stop on its own. Hold that switch. You can't do anything by holding the switch, it just shuts down. So you don't have to worry there. You have awning in and out, no big deal. Push out, push in, once it's in, double tap, Just that's okay. This light switch here on the right is for the awning light outside. This is for the lights on the inside. Right beside that, you're gonna find your battery monitor, fresh tank, black tank, gray tank, water pump switch to use your onboard fresh tank water, water heater gas, water heater electric. You can use a water heater on gas. If the gas is not on or it's not operating properly, there's a light that will come on right here in the middle saying it's not working. It's called a fault light. Down below here, you're gonna find your breakers and fuses. Right here, breakers this side, fuses over here. Over here you have your range. You do need to manually light that with a lighter, like an outside grill you would. Books and remotes are gonna be found right here. It does come with a sheet that says you do have some different types of maintenance, things like that. So read that over whenever you come and get the coach. Right here you have couple controls for the refrigerator we're going to talk about that real quick i've already set this to turn this on on gas the gas is not on right now you have to turn this switch to the little flame right here so that they're both operating the same once you've turned that to gas you have to push this in and ignite the sparker as you can see this little line here is going to be moving you're going to sit here and push this until that line comes all the way over to green. And what that means is it's actually lit on gas and it is running. Okay. If you want electricity, you are going to turn this to the on position. Oh wait, plug on. You're going to make sure that this is turned to where you need it, whatever setting you need. And that's all you need to do for electric. Turn that. This is the off setting for everything. This is the off setting for everything. You can leave that in any setting you want. It's not releasing gas unless you have it running. Okay. Right here, this tab here opens up. You have the freezer up here. It will always be much colder in there, and much colder around the top than it will be the bottom. Now, when you're storing it, you're not going to be moving a coach. This guy flips into right there. It's going to hold that open so it doesn't mildew. On a little bit, we're gonna go. You do have an outside table here, it's button strapped in that just slides out. You take that outside okay. right here on the toilet. The operation of the toilet's explained on the lid. Halfway down on the pedal, right there, is going to add water to the bowl. All the way down is flush. Okay. There is a ceiling fan in there and a light, both of which are controlled here. Turn on the left one for the fan. Turn on the right one for the light. It's hard to kind of show you there on both sides. Directly above me here, you're going to find the fan controls, which is all set. As you can see, this little black arrow on each side determines what you're actually going to be turning it to. You have low fan, high fan, low cool, high cool. Right here's the thermostat for the furnace itself. Now, this switch is difficult to use so what I recommend holding it and pushing it over directly across otherwise that way you're gonna not gonna break it then you have your thermostat setting here it is going to tell you the temperature of the coach in here it did kick on it's gonna be running it's gonna shut back off because the propane is not on at the moment turn that back off it will shut down down here you're gonna find your radio and your DVD player that's already hooked in just turn it on there is a book inside your pamphlet there. It's going to explain how to use this. Got a couple zones. It does operate the speakers outside. There's a strap here. You're going to pull directly down on that. That's going to release the TV. Pull. You can turn that around. It's got all kinds of different ways it's going to go. Speakers are hooked up to this as long, along with a uh, HDMI cord running from this. It's all plugged in, ready to go. There is a label button back here where you can operate the cable or the antenna. That way you can turn it on. There is an antenna 
turn rotation here. If you're having a bad signal on your antenna, you're just going to turn and rotate that a little bit. Let it drop back down and lock into place. It doesn't crank up, so that way you don't have to worry about that. That should be just about it. This doesn't open, but you do have USB ports down here, a couple outlets, and that'll be all for you.